In probability theory and statistics, a copula is a multivariate probability distribution for which the marginal probability distribution of each variable is uniform. Copulas are used to describe the dependence between random variables. Their name comes from the Latin for link or tie, similar but unrelated to grammatical copulas in linguistics. Sklar's theorem states that any multivariate joint distribution can be written in terms of univariate marginal distribution functions and a copula, which describes the dependence structure between the variables. Copulas are popular in high-dimensional statistical applications as they allow one to easily model and estimate the distribution of random vectors by estimating marginals and copulae separately. There are many parametric copula families available, which usually have parameters that control the strength of dependence. Some popular parametric copula models are outlined below. Mathematical definition. Consider a random vector. Suppose its margins are continuous, i.e., the marginal CDFs are continuous functions. By applying the probability integral transform to each component, the random vector has uniformly distributed marginals. The copula of is defined as the joint cumulative distribution function of. The copula C contains all information on the dependence structure between the components of whereas the marginal cumulative distribution functions contain all information on the marginal distributions. The importance of the above is that the reverse of these steps can be used to generate pseudo-random samples from general classes of multivariate probability distributions. That is, given the procedure to generate a sample from the copula distribution, the required sample can be constructed as the inverses are unproblematic as they were assumed to be continuous. The above formula for the copula function can be rewritten to correspond to this is Definition, in probabilistic terms, is a d-dimensional copula if C is a joint cumulative distribution function of a d-dimensional random vector on the unit cube with uniform marginals. In analytic terms, is a d-dimensional copula if the copula is zero if one of the arguments is zero. The copula is equal to u if one argument is u and all others 1. C is d increasing, i.e., for each hyperrectangle the C volume of B is non negative. Whether, for instance, in the bivariate case, is a bivariate copula if and for all in. Sklar's theorem. Sklar's theorem, named after Abe Sklar, provides the theoretical foundation for the application of copulas. Sklar's theorem states that every multivariate cumulative distribution function of a random vector can be expressed by involving only the marginals, as where is a copula. In case that the multivariate distributions has a density is available it holds further that where is the density of the copula. The theorem also states that, given, the copula is unique on, which is the Cartesian product of the ranges of the marginal CDF, S. This implies that the copula is unique if the marginals are continuous. The converse is also true. Given a copula in margins then defines a d-dimensional cumulative distribution function, Fréchet-Hofding copula bounds. The Fréchet-Hofding theorem states that for any copula and any the following bounds hold. The function W is called lower Fréchet-Hofding bound and is defined as the function M is called upper Fréchet-Hofding bound and is defined as the upper bound is sharp. M is always a copula, it corresponds to co-monotone random variables. The lower bound is pointwise sharp, in the sense that for fix U, there is a copula such that However, W is a copula only in two dimensions, in which case it corresponds to counter-monotonic random variables. In two dimensions, i.e., the bivariate case, the Fréchet-Hofding theorem states families of copulas. Several families of copulae have been described. Gaussian copula The Gaussian copula is a distribution over the unit cube. It is constructed from a multivariate normal distribution over by using the probability integral transform for a given correlation matrix. 
The Gaussian copula with parameter matrix can be written as where is the inverse cumulative distribution function of a standard normal and is the joint cumulative distribution function of a multivariate normal distribution with mean vector 0 and covariance matrix equal to the correlation matrix. The density can be written as where is the identity matrix. Archimedean copulas Archimedean copulas are an associative class of copulas. Most common Archimedean copulas admit an explicit formula, something not possible for instance for the Gaussian copula. In practice, Archimedean copulas are popular because they allow modeling dependence in arbitrarily high dimensions with only one parameter, governing the strength of dependence. A copula C is called Archimedean if it admits the representation where is a continuous, strictly decreasing and convex function such that is a parameter within some parameter space, is the so-called generator function and is its pseudo-inverse defined by moreover, the above formula for C yields a copula for if and only if is demonotone on, that is, if it is times differentiable and the derivatives satisfy for all and and is non-increasing and convex. Most important Archimedean copulas The following tables highlight the most prominent bivariate Archimedean copulas with their corresponding generator. Note that not all of them are completely monotone, i.e., demonotone for all or demonotone for certain only. Expectation for copula models and Monte Carlo integration. In statistical applications, many problems can be formulated in the following way. One is interested in the expectation of a response function applied to some random vector. If we denote the CDF of this random vector with the quantity of interest can thus be written as if is given by a copula model, i.e., this expectation can be rewritten as in case the copula C is absolutely continuous, i.e., C has a density C. This equation can be written as an if each marginal distribution has the density it holds further that if copula and margins are known. This expectation can be approximated through the following Monte Carlo algorithm. Draw a sample of size n from the copula C. By applying the inverse marginal CDF, S, produce a sample of by setting, approximate by its empirical value, empirical copulas. When studying multivariate data, one might want to investigate the underlying copula. Suppose we have observations from a random vector with continuous margins. The corresponding true copula observations would be however, the marginal distribution functions are usually not known. Therefore, one can construct pseudo-copula observations by using the empirical distribution functions instead. Then, the pseudo-copula observations are defined as the corresponding empirical copula is then defined as the components of the pseudo-copula samples can also be written as where is the rank of the observation. Therefore, the empirical copula can be seen as the empirical distribution of the rank transformed data. Applications Quantitative finance in risk Portfolio management Copulas are used to perform stress tests and robustness checks that are especially important during downside crisis panic regimes where extreme downside events may occur. The formula was also adapted for financial markets and was used to estimate the probability distribution of losses on pools of loans or bonds. The users of the formula have been criticized for creating evaluation cultures that continue to use simple copulae despite the simple versions being acknowledged as inadequate for that purpose. During a downside regime, a large number of investors who have held positions in riskier assets such as equities or real estate may seek refuge in safer investments such as cash or bonds. This is also known as a flight to quality effect and investors tend to exit the positions in riskier assets in large numbers in a short period of time. As a result, during downside regimes, correlations across equities are greater on the downside as opposed to the upside and this may have disastrous effects on the economy. For example, anecdotally, 
We often read financial news headlines reporting the loss of hundreds of millions of dollars on the stock exchange in a single day. However, we rarely read reports of positive stock market gains of the same magnitude and in the same short time frame. Copulas are useful in portfolio risk management and help us analyze the effects of downside regimes by allowing the modeling of the marginals and dependent structure of a multivariate probability model separately. For example, consider the stock exchange as a market consisting of a large number of traders each operating with his own strategies to maximize profits. The individualistic behavior of each trader can be described by modeling the marginals. However, as all traders operate on the same exchange, each trader's actions have an interaction effect with other traders. This interaction effect can be described by modeling the dependence structure. Therefore, copulas allow us to analyze the interaction effects which are of particular interest during downside regimes as investors tend to herd their trading, behavior and decisions. Previously, scalable copula models for large dimensions only allowed the modeling of elliptical dependence structures that do not allow for correlation. Asymmetries where correlations differ on the upside or downside regimes. However, the recent development of Vine copulas enables the flexible modeling of the dependence structure for portfolios of large dimensions. The Clayton canonical Vine copula allows for the occurrence of extreme downside events and has been successfully applied in portfolio choice and risk management applications. The model is able to reduce the effects of extreme downside correlations and produces improved statistical and economic performance compared to scalable elliptical dependence copulas such as the Gaussian and student Chi copula. Other models developed for risk management applications are panic copulas that are glued with market estimates of the marginal distributions to analyze the effects of panic regimes on the portfolio profit and loss distribution. Panic copulas are created by Monte Carlo simulation, mixed with a re-weighting of the probability of each scenario. As far as derivatives pricing is concerned, Dependence modeling with copula functions is widely used in applications of financial risk assessment and actuarial analysis, for example in the pricing of collateralized debt obligations. Some believe the methodology of applying the Gaussian copula to credit derivatives to be one of the reasons behind the global financial crisis of 2008-2009. Despite this perception, there are documented attempts of the financial industry occurring before the crisis to address the limitations of the Gaussian copula and of copula functions more generally, specifically the lack of dependence dynamics and the poor representation of extreme events. There have been attempts to propose models rectifying some of the copula limitations. While the application of copulas in credit has gone through popularity as well as misfortune during the global financial crisis of 2008-2009, it is arguably an industry standard model for pricing CDOs. Copulas have also been applied to other asset classes as a flexible tool in analyzing multi-asset derivative products. The first such application outside credit was to use a copula to construct an implied basket volatility surface, taking into account the volatility smile of basket components. Copulas have since gained popularity in pricing and risk management of options on multi-assets in the presence of volatility smile skew, in equity, foreign exchange and fixed income derivative business. Some typical example applications of copulas are listed below. Analyzing and pricing volatility smile, skew of exotic baskets, e.g., best, worst of. Analyzing and pricing volatility smile, skew of less liquid FX cross, which is effectively a basket. C equals S1, S2 or C equals S1, S2. Analyzing and pricing spread options, in particular in fixed income constant maturity swap spread options. Civil engineering recently. Copula functions have been successfully applied to the database formulation for the reliability analysis of highway bridges. 
and to various multivariate simulation studies in civil, mechanical and offshore engineering. Researchers are also trying these functions in field of transportation to understand interaction of individual driver behavior components which in totality shapes up the nature of an entire traffic flow. Reliability engineering copulas are being used for reliability analysis of complex systems of machine components with competing failure modes. Warranty data analysis copulas are being used for warranty data analysis in which the tail dependence is analyzed. Turbulent combustion copulas are used in modeling turbulent partially premixed combustion, which is common in practical combustors. Medicine copula functions have been successfully applied to the analysis of neuronal dependencies and spike counts in neuroscience. Weather research copulas have been extensively used in climate and weather-related research. Random vector generation Large synthetic traces of vectors and stationary time series can be generated using empirical copula while preserving the entire dependence structure of small data sets. Such empirical traces are useful in various simulation-based performance studies.